when this channel first popped off, it was because of a tiling window manager. When I switched to Linux, I was using a tiling window manager. I am a fan of tiling window managers. So seeing that I'm now using KDE Plasma, people have obviously bugged me about doing a video on Polonium, the successor to Bismuth, the successor to Cronkite. Now Cronkite has been revived and I will do a separate video on that. But for now, let's do a video on Polonium, the tiling extension for KDE Plasma. Whilst being a bit clunky, quite clunky, this is actual tiling in KDE Plasma, not glorified window snapping like you'd have out of the box. Now, whilst you can use this with the default KDE settings, if you are interested in using this, there are some additional changes you should probably go and make. Your window activation should be set to focus follows mouse, mouse precedence, delay focus zero milliseconds, and the window action modify key should be meta. This is the default, so I don't know why this is mentioned here, unless your distro goes and modifies something. Also, the docs are a little bit out of date. These are the Plasma 5 extensions you should go and install. On Plasma 6, I don't believe any of these have actually been ported over. The one that I really care about, though, is Window Borders, because you can use a tiler like this, but it's really difficult to know which window actually has focus. On a tiler, you normally have a colored outline around the window. In Plasma 5, you use Active Accent Frame. This doesn't work anymore, but instead use KWIN6 Bismuth Decoration. Now, you will have to go and compile this, but all you need to do is just run these commands here and you'll be good to go. This is then a window decoration. So if we go into our settings, go to decorations, window decoration, and bismuth right here, apply. And there we go. Now we have a border around our windows. This is using the accent color you have set for everything else. I would also recommend going into your Polonium settings found under Kwin scripts and setting the border visibility option to border all. So even if a window is not currently focused, there is still a gray border around it with these decorations. If you have this set to anything else, you're gonna notice that that border is going to disappear and reappear as you're changing focus on the windows. This just makes it so the border is always going to be there and the windows aren't just going to randomly change size. One of the most important things with a tiler is your keyboard shortcuts. Now, like with everything else in Plasma, all of these are listed under the shortcut section. If you search for Polonium and go to Kwin, you will see every single one of these bindings. Here, you can both configure them and basically just use it as documentation of the bindings. Now, for the most part, my bindings are pretty much default. And being default, I think they are pretty much sensible bindings. They are Vim-inspired bindings for the most part. So if we go super and then H, it's going to focus on the window to the left. If we go super shift L, it is going to move that window over to the right. So super H, J, K, and L to go and change your focus. Super shift H, J, K, and L to go and change where the window is located. And just like normal in Plasma, you can resize a window by grabbing the window edge and then dragging it. With these borders and with the gap, it is a little bit finicky to do so. So the better option is the key binding. Super control H, J, K, and L. So L, H, J, and K. And as you saw there, when I move my mouse around, that is still going to change the window focus. Those basic plasma functions are still going to be there. But you might run into a weird finicky issue with the way that resizing works. So if we do super control H here, that is going to resize just fine. If we do the same thing here, it doesn't actually work it's very important to keep in mind that you're still running Plasma. All the extension is doing is doing a mostly fine job at emulating a tiling window manager. But there are some cases where the way that windows are being managed internally don't line up with how you'd expect them to behave. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier, but by default, 
focus right is not actually going to be bound because that's bound to Super L. The other thing bound to Super L is opening up the lock screen. This is obviously the intended layout for it, but make sure you do go and set that one. At the start I mentioned having your mouse focus set to focus follows mouse, mouse precedence. Most of the time, this works fine. But again, this is emulation, so sometimes it falls apart. I don't have my hand on the mouse. Let's move this window around and see what happens. So super shift L, super shift K, and now my focus is on a different window. A proper tiler would keep my focus on this window until I touch the mouse again. With a fourth window here, a totally normal way of using a tiler, you'll see where this really goes wrong. So super shift L, it's already done something weird. That's not what I would expect to happen. Super shift K. And now we're focused on a different window. Super shift L. And now we've rotated to a way that makes sense. To someone who doesn't use a tiler, that might not seem like that big of a deal. But when you do, you want your windows to always behave consistently and you know exactly where they're going to go when you press those bindings. If you don't, why do you have the bindings? As for the window focus, this also behaves inconsistently, but in a different way. Super L, Super J, Super H, Super K. It works perfectly. So window focus behaves exactly like it should, but moving a window behaves weirdly, which makes the whole matter even more confusing. But there is still a problem that most tilers deal with. Right now my cursor is in the top left window and this window is focused. Let's change our focus with Super L, Super J. Now on most tilers, our mouse will be located on the now focused window. In the case of Plasma, it's still where we started. So now we have to go and move our mouse over to that window to have it on the one we're actually focused on. I don't blame Polonium or blame Plasma for this because Plasma is not a tiler and Polonium is just an extension. It has to work with what Plasma gives it and if that function is just not there then you just can't do that. This was unexpected but I kind of broke something. I'm not sure. So let's make a new window. For some reason that one's floating now. Let's make another one. And now there's a gap down here. There's another floating one but it put this here. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you can hear me. Everything looks frozen to me. One reboot later, Polonium is alive again. Something I hadn't mentioned yet is you do have access to different kinds of layouts. By default, it is set to binary tree. In this one, windows are going to be split based on whichever direction is the largest. So in this case, it's going to split this in half like that. In this case, it's going to split it like that. This is the way that I generally like to use a tiler, and this is the way that most tilers tend to work out of the box, and it's the most flexible method. But there are others that make more sense in different cases. If we press super, shift, and then the pipe key, this puts us into half mode. If you've used something like DWM, you'd know this as master stack. If we press it once again, now we're in three column mode, which is basically master stack, but in this case, we have two separate stacks. If we press it once again, now we are in monocle mode. So in this one, instead of doing tiling, you only see one window at a time. And if we go and move our windows around, this is going to cycle between our windows. After this is one called Kwin mode, which basically just means now all of the windows are floating. Press it once again. Now we are back in binary tree. There's a problem with going back into binary tree though. It doesn't actually put the windows back into the tree layout. So now you have to go and manually put them back into the tiled layout to actually be tiling again. There might be others, but there are two sensible ways to retile. One of them is using the retile binding. Now, by default, this is not actually going to be set. I like mine being on meta O because I like mine being on meta O. So press that. Now it's in the tiled layout. The other option you can use is using the quick tile bindings that normally exist in Plasma. So if we do super down, it's going to be in the layout. The bindings may behave weirdly sometimes, like 
sometimes not putting it back in the layout, sometimes expanding it, like that time. It just put it in the center of the screen. Don't know why, if we press it again, now it's in the layout. Now this is kind of hard to capture on video, but there have been many, many occasions where my mouse completely locks up for like half a second, a quarter of a second. When I'm using Polonium, Plasma just feels randomly laggy. You saw the bit before where it completely died and had no idea where Windows was supposed to be located. That's the worst of it. On normal situations, it does still feel kind of jittery here and there. I don't know if other people experience that. I don't know if it's just my computer doing weird things, but I do see it consistently. Another thing I really don't like, and I don't know if this is a Plasma thing or a Polonium thing, but it treats Maximize and full screen as very different things in the window management. Let's first try to maximize this window. <laughs> Every time I do that, OBS completely locks up, but I'm pretty sure you're still seeing it in the capture. The window is getting big, and then instantly shrinking back down. So if you want the window to take up the entire screen, the only way to do so is by using specifically full screen. Now, this is fine in a lot of applications. It's not fine in every application. Let's go to a web browser. So if we go and full screen this, this means the bar is not going to be visible and you have to go to the top to actually see it. Where if it's instead maximized, you still get to see the bar like in this right here. Now, I don't really care if you prefer full screen or prefer maximize. What I prefer is having both of them available for the cases where I actually want to use them. Another really annoying one for me is no easy mouse-based relocation. You might say, oh, it's a Tyler. Why would you want to use your mouse? I don't live in 1980. I have a mouse. I'm going to use it. And on most Tylers, what you can do is drag this window here up to this spot and just have them switch locations. Let's try to drag this window with super drag. It jumps out of the tiling layout. Let's let it go. If we now press Super O. It does switch, but it's not always consistent where it goes. So you can't consistently do mouse-based movement, and you can't consistently do keyboard-based movement. You kinda gotta just hope that you're doing little movements here and there. If you're moving one window at a time, it's generally okay. But if you need to make multiple movements, that's when things really start to break down. Now, a couple of times I've mentioned the Polonium settings, and this is great to have. There is a problem here, and I don't know if this is a Polonium problem or a Kwin problem or a Plasma problem, but every time that you want to change a setting, changes only apply after logging out or restarting Kwin. So getting those settings the way you want them, there's not that many to set, so you don't really need to touch that many of them, but it can be really annoying to go and do so. If this is a plasma problem, again, it's an extension. It has to work with what it's given. Now, there is a little settings menu on super backslash. This lets you set a couple of things like the insertion point, so where you actually want to start placing windows when the layout actually starts, the engine you're using, and if you want to rotate the layout. Now, here's the fun thing about the engine setting. <laughs> it doesn't work. All of the settings are cut off because they don't go above the top of this window. So the only things you have here are Monocle and Kwin. And there's no way to set it back in this screen here. You might say, oh, why don't you scroll up? You can't scroll up. Can we, can we, oh, maybe we can use our arrow keys and guess which, uh, which settings there. And yeah, you probably could do that if you, if you want to do that. Um is not optimal though. See, I'm really sad about Polonium because there is clearly a very good base here. A lot of what is here fundamentally works like a Tyler, but there's a lot of these weird pain points where things don't behave exactly as I would expect. And my expectations here aren't crazy expectations, just things behaving consistently. 
And then there's the lag issue, which again, I've talked about lag in Plasma. When there was lag with the caching issue, that made me want to completely quit Plasma. And honestly, that's the main reason I don't use Polonium now. I can get over some of the inconsistencies and using it long enough, you'll get used to it. But having that lag there, just, I, I can't use it like that. But with a bit more work, and I really hope that gets done, you could legitimately see really good tiling being done with Polonium. Now, I do have to do a separate video on Cronkite as well, and maybe Cronkite's going to be better. From my brief amount of testing, it seems good, but we'll see long run how that actually goes. So, this isn't how I'm going to use Plasma going forward. I'm still going to try out Cosmic and Cosmic's native tiling. But I can see where people are coming from with Polonium being good enough in most cases. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, Liberapay linked in the description down below. Have you had experience with Polonium? Let me know.